this will be a strange answer, but it's arrogance that we think we know what to do. Um, we have a number, I think you were probably, this question was aimed at what particular disease and so on. There's a variety of diseases out there which are of um, significance to global health. Um, the the, the in, infectious disease, but also in um, more westernized nations, um, issues to do cancer and obesity, heart disease and the like. But I think the biggest challenge is arrogance. We still do not know enough about these diseases and we still do not know how to deliver care in the most effective way. And even though there is quite a lot of money sometimes aimed with, uh, with very um, uh, benevolent um, uh, intentions, you know, we think of institutions um, such as NIH investing in uh, um, diseases in the developing world, of Gates Foundation, the Wellcome Trust and the like. But often we do not know enough about the disease or how to deliver it in our own more advanced societies, let alone in underdeveloped communities in Africa. So we, I think we have to accept that we don't know the answers and put more input into how we deliver that than simply we thinking we can um, go to Tanzania and, and put a hundred million dollars there and solve the problem because often it just ends up um, simply not dealing with the problems. So I think it's arrogance at all levels both in not understanding the nature of the disease and thinking all the basic research has been done, it has not. It's thinking that we now know how to treat it in particular ways, often high tech ways but perhaps not the most effective ways we should deal um, get better treatments, we still don't know that. And then trying to apply it in countries where there isn't um, 24 hours electricity every day, so you can't refrigerate samples and so on, means you have to take a completely different approach to how you deliver um, medicines and health care. So arrogance is my number one um, uh, bogey in this, that's what we have to get rid of. Mm -hmm.